Hi everyone, this is Ramalinga Prasad Kuppa. Welcome to my channel, Pharma World. Today's topic is QR code for pharmaceutical products. QR code is the fastest way to get the intricate details of the item that carries the QR code. It is a two-dimensional square grid with vertical and horizontal bars. The QR code can be read only by a suitable scanner that decodes into human readable information accurately without any errors. It is very useful for all across many industries. Let us see how it is useful in the context of pharmaceutical manufacturing and distribution of products. QR code. The QR code looks like this. This is one example. Quick response code is a type of two-dimensional matrix barcode. As you can see, it is a two-dimensional square grid with lot of information hidden which cannot be read by human eye. It is an arrangement of black squares in a square grid which can be read only by a image device scanner that can appropriately decode and get the human readable information very accurately and instantly. The QR code and the scanner are synchronized to translate the information in the squares into the readable form. This is done by the ERP system. QR codes are used over commercial tracking, warehouse stock control, product and in-store product labeling, etc. of many applications including pharmaceutical products. The tracking is much faster than any other mode of tracking. The QR code captures very important information on name of the product, batch number, date of manufacture, date of expiry, etc. This is the critical information that is captured in the QR code. Why is this? so important for pharmaceutical manufacturing and distribution? Let us see more. Requirement under 21 CFR Part 7 Subpart C. The Code of Federal Regulations under this Section 7 Subpart C prescribes some requirements. Initiation of voluntary recalls when necessary is done as per this section for all drug products within US FDA scope. This is very important. Voluntary recall is initiated by the manufacturer if there are any adverse observations noticed on the marketed product and the product has to be withdrawn from the market immediately before it reaches the customer because such defective products could have very adverse fatal consequences if consumed by the customer. In such cases, time is the essence of all the recall process. The fastest way of tracking is possible only by establishing the QR code system in the supply and distribution chain of the product. To track the pharmaceutical products faster in timely manner, it is recommended by the guideline to have a product identifier QR code for the products. The product identifier will become the most critical part of the recall. To satisfy the requirements of the sections 582B2 and E2 of the FDC Act, it is necessary to have a QR code for each individual package of the pharmaceutical product. These sections of 
Federal Food, Drug and Cosmetics Act prescribed to have a QR code for all product packages. These recommendations are intended to assist the manufacturer in developing standardized formats for the human and machine readable information that is contained in the product identifier. These are the strategic steps to track the product in supply and distribution chain. Local statutory requirements. The central government of India has mandated that the label of all active pharmaceutical ingredients, the APIs, manufactured or imported in India should contain a quick response code on each level of packaging. Local drug authorities mandated this requirement. This amendment rule is being put forward to allow effective tracking and tracing of the ingredients of the drugs and to prevent spurious drugs from entering the market. Here also, there is a recommendation for a necessary control and prevent spurious drug products entering into the market. The QR code should contain unique product, product identification code, name of the API, brand name if any, name and address of the manufacturer, batch number, batch size, date of manufacturing, date of expiry or retesting, serial, shipping container code, manufacturing license number or import license number and special storage conditions required if any. All the information provided here must be the part of the QR code label. Path forward. Enterprise Resource Planning ERP is a computerized software system that helps effectively without errors and faster to run entire business, supporting automation and processes in several applications, including pharmaceutical product distribution and tracking, supply chain, services, etc. As explained in the previous slide, the ERP system will help to establish the compliance to the regulatory requirement. A suitable, qualified and validated tailor-made ERP software to suit the explicit regulatory requirements for tracking the distributed product must be established. This is important. The ERP system must be qualified and must comply to the requirements of 21 CFR Part 11, the electronic records, electronic signatures. The qualification should challenge with the test scripts for the effective functioning of the system. It has to be tailor-made to suit the requirements of the individual organization. Access controls for ERP systems are most important requirement. Access controls must be compliant to 21 CFR Part 11 requirements. The modules should allow to create users and roles assigned by the company's administrator. The control modules should be capable of allowing creation of necessary roles and responsibilities. Accordingly, the access permissions will be decided. The administrator is the authority to create any such roles and responsibilities. The administrator has more access privileges than any other user in the system. Administrator account 
should be used only for user and role permissions configurations. The administrator is the main authority to create, delete or modify any roles and responsibilities. The access level should be system administrator, manager, user and limited user. The manager will have some roles and responsibilities including designing the project, system configuration and setting up of necessary parameters. The user has responsibility to use to the extent required while executing the process. The user will not have the accesses that are assigned to the manager. Accordingly, inaccessible icons will not be active. Limited user will have only few controls including viewing the data. However, the limited user will not be able to make any changes to the data or delete the data. System administrator will help to create a new role, assign a role to a user, etc. So this is the system administrator's responsibility. Master data. A item master data has to be established. After setting up the roles and responsibilities, it is now to create the master data. The master data should capture all important aspects of a product. Pharmaceutical grade, batch number, expiry date, retest date, storage conditions, quantity, etc. All these intricate and important aspects have to be part of the master data. The master data must have a provision to modify data if necessary with justification which can be audit trailable. This is important. The data may be modified if justified scientifically with risk assessment. Audit trailable means there should be detailed answers for four questions. They are who did the entry modification? What correction or modification was done? When was it done and why was it done? The answers should be date and time stamped. This is necessary to establish the contemporaneousness of the data modifications. This is part of compliance to Alcoa principles. A is for data attributable to an individual. L is for legible data. C is for contemporaneous recording. O is capturing the data on the original record. And the last A is for accuracy of the data. The data must be synchronized with the printers that has restricted access. This point is also important. Access to such printers should be restricted to only authorized users. It is recommended to have physical and electronic controls for such printers. Such printers may be installed in entry restricted areas. Let us see the overall summary. The unique QR code has to be generated for each individual package of the drug product or API with correct details. This is required to, to track each individual package of the drug product or API. It must be reviewed by the production, QC and QA sections for accuracy. Necessary justifiable corrections may be made or it trailable. The review should be done for accuracy. As explained in the previous slide, the data should be audit trailable. It must be sent for final approval before printing. The final approved 
printed labels must be affixed onto the containers. These are the final steps. I hope that the brief information on the requirements of QR code uh, for all pharmaceutical products is understood well. In addition to tracking of the product, it is necessary statutory requirement to comply. Thanks for watching. For more videos, please do subscribe, like and share. Also, please leave a message in comments box in case of any further support. Thank you.